Let me introduce the Green Investment Bank, uh, a little bit about who we are and what we do. We are the first institution of its kind anywhere in the world, and it does bring uh, a lot of weight on our shoulders to get it right. We're owned and funded entirely today by the UK government, and our mission is to help move the UK towards a more sustainable economy. We are, uh, we're focused on catalyzing private sector investment. So why are, we, why are we focused on that? Why are we not going to try and do it all ourselves? Well, the scale of the challenge or the opportunity, depending on what side of that coin you want to look at, is huge in the UK. We estimate we need to spend and invest over the next 10 years something close to uh, about 200 billion pounds, 300 billion US dollars, to move the UK to hit the targets that uh, we've committed to. About 110 billion of that is expected to be invested in low carbon generation. And so with $3 billion to invest, you know, we, the, the only way we're going to be able to help on that is to catalyze private sector investment. Now that $3 billion is our initial capital. We can invest it, we can recycle it, and we can raise additional capital. So it's where we start, not where we finish. We have a concept of a double bottom line at GIB. So what does that mean? Well, A, it's a return on our capital using the same kind of analysis that most other financial institutions use. And B is, uh, is a move to uh, a green bottom line. And that is really about moving the UK towards a more sustainable economy. And there's been many, many years of defining accounting standards and treatments and how you might think about profitability. But we are developing the tools and the metrics around the green bottom line as we speak. But we, you know, we tend to look at things like uh, carbon emissions, which would be avoided by uh, the investments we make, uh, waste, which is no longer sent to landfill, and green power generation. We have to be additional. And what that really means is if there are projects out there where we're looking to invest that already have all the sources of capital they need, we will, we will move on. We'll leave those to the market. Um, but where there are good projects, uh, projects which are both green and profitable, and they have to be both green and profitable, which are short of capital, we will put up the available capital, whether that's debt or equity, to make those projects go ahead. So in that sense, we're additional. We're crowding in that capital that wishes to invest in those projects. We're not in any sense crowding out private capital. We can invest anywhere in the capital structure in a project. We can do debt, we can do equity, MES, or guarantees, as long as we make an adequate return for that position that we're taking in the capital structure. We're a for-profits bank. If there's one thing that you take away from my introductory comments, it's that we're a for-profits bank. But it does mean, therefore, that we're not a lender of last resort. We don't provide soft loans. We don't provide grants. We invest only in the UK. So that's where the, our area of focus is. And in working through the state aid approval, something we need from Brussels to establish uh, the, the bank because the money all comes today from government, we've identified uh, that 80% of our capital must go into four priority sectors, which are energy efficiency, offshore wind, waste recycling, and waste to energy. And up to 20% of what we do goes into our non priority sectors, and they are uh, wet renewables, wave and tidal, bioenergy, that's mostly focused on biomass, and carbon capture and storage. We've been up and running for six months. We are headquartered in, in Edinburgh and an office in London. We've got about 80 staff so far. Uh, we're nearly fully, uh, nearly fully staffed. And in that time, we have led 11 transactions and committed 635 million Plus, we've worked uh, on another transaction which is held by another part of government uh, in, a, in a project called Green Coat Capital, a successful IPO of a renewable energy fund. We catalyzed during that time 1.7 billion of additional private sector money. So the total size of the projects that we've worked on, which have been freed up, which are now moving ahead that were previously not, is about 2.3 billion. The core of what we do and what we're focused on is to maximize our green impact in the UK. But we will do that by creating an enduring institution. We don't want to be around, invest the three billion pounds, and then all go home again. The idea is to create an enduring institution. And so for a key for that for a bank is around capital formation.
We have to be successful in capital formation for the bank to be an enduring institution. And the key to that is profitability. If we can demonstrate profits, uh, Donald, I see you sitting at the back, you talked about enlightened self-interest yesterday in one of your comments. We fully understand that. We are here to make profits. And if we make profits, we'll be able to raise capital. And if we do that, we will have a virtuous circle of creating an enduring institution. And by doing that, we will maximize a green impact over time.